sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a ball? I'll do it myself. You're all over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead? True. But I was fleeing a noun. And? But it, it was a monster! A, a furry, faggy devil! They chose a fitting name for it. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding, where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Yes! Bear. Bear, that is your cock's a tent pole. Hide. Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire-eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsboro. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some. Nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs>
Uh, my first Witcher contract. Done. Fire Eater found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. Why are you so strange? Come on, old chap, to the newlyweds. Hey there, handsome. Drink with us. Don't make us beg. We're toasting the newlyweds. Look. Drink with us. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. So strange. Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. Drunk and randy. Who ever come that <laughs> Look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Ozasius suit you, friend. Ah! Whose stupid idea was it to make a loser? Where did you get What's taking you so long? Bring me my shoe. Quick nap. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes. Privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Just when you think you know all the plow folk's customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, now the shock's faded, perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond.
sir. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One found it in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> in my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, faster till we expire. Special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shan. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for a loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. <laughs> <laughs> 